this December 12th, 2022. We are on tournament, a five-star, no-fire rush attack. Team have got running on defense right now. This is what it looks like. There's your defense behind it. I'm, uh, even though it's a no-red, so you would, uh, you'd put blues out there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go blue tank, but I'm surrounding it with a couple of evils on, uh, on flanking positions there. Right now on defense, I've only been attacked three times and not too bad. I'll take a two and one start. It's a little early to get going, but uh, getting ready to go to battle myself. This is what I am taking out to uh, the farm here. Green for health and purple for attack, which is a little atypical from what I normally do, but it's a chance to kind of take out the couple of resurrection monsters, a bunch of minion madness, and... Uh, We'll see how we do on day one here. Just kind of rolling that out. Would love to see more purple, but... thing to do is just go, go ahead and uh, seems a waste in a tournament like this I'll throw out some more defensive moves. about blindness, but apparently that is just not a really fixed here. tiles, things tend to look really good. All right, let's keep that rolling. Number two, looks like a lot of escaping going on here. escape if I can freeze you from using your uh, using your buffs now hopefully that bides me some time to get the board back in order this is not of a very favorable board right now 
It's still alive. Puts a dent in it. tend to turn out poorly for me. Let's see. Let's see if we can reverse this. It's an interesting team. If I can freeze the buff, that would be great, but I might not get that. Need more purple. Okay, let's be. Hopefully, this isn't too cute by half. Oh, yeah, the miss. That was what I was afraid of. Frank's uh, duel until the second target for her. <laughs> Just trying to keep the nudging away over at that side, although it's it's going to come right now anyway. I 
frying pan and into the fire. So the frying pan being that trap green team. The fire being this 5173, maybe not a crazy uh, team as it were, but set looks good. Um, I'm Jose with a thousand defense, 1800 in hit points. Dude, <laughs> nine night rocking a 997. That is impressive. Um, so this this could get uh, this could get tight real tight real fast. Um, add to that the the extra damage that Sobek does. This is a pretty prime looking team here. So let's have some fun. Wish I didn't have to give you any more stronger than you needed. Nope. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Unless something comes through, which would be cool. Losing on a live stream, but good. <laughs> hubris, hubris has a way of getting paid back by karma. <laughs> All right, uh, that that was a lesson learned. Really powered team, but perhaps not as crazy looking. Uh, at face value as the others. Yeah, give me what I need. Come on. Combos. winning track you're going to wind up uh you know being able to refresh and reload on the fly so the board the right way. <laughs> Get the green going this way. I'll take the extra 10% of the attack that way. Kill a few tiles and hit one. Four and one on the day, 
one uh, one come to Jesus meeting behind or one trip to the woodshed. Um, gosh, I think the lesson on that would be if, if I run into that type of just overwhelming team, just either get something that has a better has a reflector or just overheal. Um, I have toyed with the idea of having to bring out, I, I have a team that would have uh, Professor Lindenbrock and Wolfgang. Wolfgang loves you to kill that down uh, 50% on the attack on him. But between him and Lindenbrock both having an overheal, maybe using a three set of holies to go with that um, Alfrek and Lubu combo. That, I mean, we might go that way. So, But right now, I'm going to keep two Resurrections and uh, Stone Skin rolling for now and uh, hope to see you back tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Have a good one, folks.